Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. This title of this video is Because You're on a Different Road. And I want to show the distinction between the roads that I'm talking about. Because you're on a different road. God is telling you right now, there's some things that you're going through because you're on a different road. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 to show the difference between one or the other road. There's only two roads. There's one that God has paved that he wants us on. And there's a road that we pave ourselves, or it's a road to destruction. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. That means you cannot combine two roads. You either are on one or the other. You have to choose. And the reason why, again, at the beginning of this video, that I said why you're going through what you're going through is because you're on a different road than that circumstance or that person. You are on a different road. Let's check it out. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? Righteousness is one road. Lawlessness is another road. What communion has light with darkness? Light is one road. Darkness is another. And what accord has Christ with Belial? Christ Jesus is one road. And Belial is another. That's a name of a demon in those days. Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? A believer is on one particular road. An unbeliever is on an entirely different road. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 29 says, By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempting to do so were drowned. This is for those who think that they can combine the road, that if someone just follows the directions that you're going, then they can experience what you're experiencing. Because they are on another road altogether, it doesn't matter what road they're following you on, their road is going to be different, just like Hebrews 11.29 says. By faith they, the children of Israel, passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians attempting to do so were drowned. That's why these things are happening. You are on another road. No matter how much you try to pave a way for someone else to believe, you are still on another road until God puts them on the same road that you're on. And he's the only one that can do that. We can't do that. Matthew 7, 13 to 14 says, Narrow or enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. That That's, a, that's another road. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are a few who find it. The reason why, however this applies to you, the reason why is because you and I, as believers, are on different roads. God bless you. Have a great day.